Welcome to module five. I decide to start a green business. My name is Klaus and I want to tell you something about this module. So when you have finished this module, you are able to deal well with uncertainties. You can stay active when you face challenges. You can assess risks to your own business idea and you can identify opportunities that you can seize for your own business. What else you need to know about this module? So as a short repetition, you learn how to deal well with uncertainties and you deal with the assessment of risk and opportunity. You will need 15 hours to finish this module and you need 66% correct answers to pass this module. And your lecturers are Klaus, Susanne and Vladimir. It takes courage, determination and drive to set up your own business. But how do you deal with uncertainty? Sure, you will plan everything as well as possible. Nevertheless, not all risks can be eliminated. Some things remain unclear for the time being. You must be able to deal with these challenges if you want to be successful. Basics of the three zone model. What you have to know. It takes courage, determination and drive to set up your own business. But how do you deal with uncertainty? Sure. You will plan everything as well as possible. Nevertheless, not all risks can be eliminated. Some things remain unclear for the time being. You must be able to deal with these challenges if you want to be successful. The three zone model can help you to deal with uncertainty. This model also helps you to understand that uncertainties and ambiguities are simply part of starting something new. So our first model deals with exactly this topic. It is called the three zone model and was originally developed by Jürgen Dotson. As the name suggests, this model describes three areas within which we humans move when we face major challenges. Where these zones begin for you depends on your personality and how you perceive events in your life. One thing is certain. We cannot avoid the three zones if we want to learn, develop professionally or grow beyond our, ourselves. But this also has its advantages. Not for nothing does the saying go, who dares wins. The comfort zone. This first zone marks the area in which a person feels comfortable and safe. It is easy for you to cope with tasks or to communicate with your environment. Competence, routines and habits provide the necessary self-confidence. The learning zone. The second zone is also called the growth or risk zone. Here you enter new territory and old rules no longer work. Instead, you have to face new challenges. This creates uncertainty. Here lies the chance to grow, to learn and to have new experiences. If these experiences are positive and you master the challenge, your comfort zone grows. But if you push too far or the pace is too fast, the risk of failure increases. The panic zone. The third zone of the three zone model is the area where people get under great stress. The environment and processes are completely foreign, perhaps even seem hostile. Here lies everything that cannot be managed or can no longer be controlled properly. Risk and danger become overwhelming. No more learning can take place. When actual failure is, is experienced in this area, most people retreat back into their comfort zone and even reinforce its limits. 
it then becomes increasingly difficult to move on to a new attempt. How to get out of the comfort zone and into the learning zone? While you are in the learning zone, you expand your comfort zone. You learn to achieve more with less effort. But why is it so hard to leave the comfort zone? First of all, there are missing reasons. Often there is a lack of reasons or incentives. People are willing to leave the comfort zone if they are attractive incentives or strong pressure. We humans need goals for which it is worth taking a risk. If we lack these goals, we stay in the comfort zone. Protecting our beliefs. It is not easy to overturn one's own convictions. And brain research confirms it. Changing beliefs means changing many neural connections. That's why we protect our beliefs. We avoid counter evidence and specifically seek confirmation for our version of the truth. We stay in our comfort zone to protect our beliefs. And then there is fear of making mistakes. At school, we were often punished when we made a mistake. Because of this, we have learned to be afraid of making mistakes. And that is why we want to avoid mistakes. Outside the comfort zone, however, the danger of making mistakes is great. Out of self-protection, we therefore often stay in our comfort zone. Fear of fear. It is completely normal to be a little afraid and uncomfortable when doing new things. Men, in particular, learned as children that it is not good to be afraid. Many men, therefore, prefer to stay in the comfort zone and thus protect their masculinity. How to get out of the comfort zone and into the learning zone? Here are some th strategies that have proven to be successful in leaving your comfort zone and entering the learning zone. In the end, these are all strategies that lead to more personal growth. So you see, there are a lot of strategies that help you to make new experiences in the learning zone and thus support you to widen your comfort zone. I want to pick out three of them, but of course you will find the description of all others in our written learning materials. Generate motivation. Great goals activate us. And when we are activated, it is also easier for us to leave the comfort zone and enter the learning zone. It is important to have realistic expectations that you can also believe in. Often, we don't make action because we are put off by overly negative reports from the media. This is because we often do not develop our expectations based on personal experience. Therefore, if you want to enter the learning zone more often, avoid negative media reports. Describe your intention positively. It takes good reasons for us to take action. The more specific you can be about what all you want to learn, the more willing you are to enter the learning zone. Think of all the benefits of starting something new. This will motivate you. Question your fears. Often, we don't get going because we imagine the worst. You can do something about that. Just answer these three questions in order. What is the worst that could happen? What would be so bad about it? What is most likely to happen? How do I know it is the most likely case? And what could happen at best? What can I do to make this case more likely? As said before, you will find the description of the strategies I just mentioned and of many other more in your written learning materials. 
the goal is to get you out of your comfort zone and right into your learning zone where you can gain new skills and knowledge. And this will definitely help you to expand your comfort zone in the end. <laughs>